What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with a brand new episode of my FIFA 17 West Ham United career mode. Before we get started, if you could smash that like button, I would very much appreciate it. And also subscribe if you are new around here. Again, it would mean the world to me. Now let's get into today's video and the bid comes in from Crystal Palace for the services of our captain Mark Noble. Not interested as we look to go into contract negotiation now with Mitchell Visa. We offer him a 26 grand per week contract, a five year deal for the right back who will be starting in the team ahead of Sam Byron, who we look to hopefully send out on loan. We do put a deal in for now for Donnarumma, who obviously is the young 17 AC Milan goalkeeper who we really want to get into the club. Three and a half million pounds would be an awesome deal for him. And as you can see here, we're getting closer and closer for the deal for the young superstar, Marcus Rashford. We offer him a 60 grand per week contract, 18 years old. That is mega money for him, it really is. And we do complete the first signing of the series. Timothy Fosu Mensah joins from Manchester United for two and a quarter million, 25 grand per week. A really good deal in the grand scheme of things. As we up our bid now for Mateo Kovacic, 12 and a half million plus Pedro Obiang should should, I say, be enough to see him join the club. And uh, obviously, Obiang will get an opportunity to play for one of the world's biggest clubs as we get ready for our last group game in the um, in the uh, pre-season tournament. We do start with a strong side here. Zaza, Lanzini, Kiate, Noble, Antonio, Paye, Masaku, Redog, Bonner, Byram, Adrian. Uh, that probably will be the side we go with for the opening day against Chelsea. Um, hopefully, uh, we, we see a, a lot of um, goodness from this team as Antonio breaks down the wing very early here. Great show of strength there as the Englishman gets the ball into the box. And Zini nearly gets there, but it is cleared away. As West Ham coming the attack again, Zaza holds the ball up from a beautiful pass from Lanzini here. As the Italian still on the ball, lays it back into French superstar Dimitri Payet. Payet holds the ball up, puts a beautiful ball in. Lanzini wins the header. Great save, though, from the keeper. As again, they come forward here. Lanzini piling loads of pressure. Wins the ball back as Paye lays the ball into Kiate. Finds captain Mark Noble. Antonio's in space. Falls the Englishman with a shot from range. Just over the bar there. As Zaza comes forward again. All West Ham as Manuel Lanzini gets played into the passing lane here. Cuts back here. What can he do? Still Manuel Lanzini. The Argentine holds the ball up front. Beautifully to find Kiate. Saved again from the goalkeeper. Right on half time now, the ball comes into the box, clear from Masaku, Lanzini, who's had a really good game. A tame pass though, does fall into their player here. Still the Russian players, he lays it off into Wanderson, and that is a brilliant first time effort to stun West Ham and take the lead. 1-0 from the Russian club there. And believe me guys, when I say this is against the runner play, I believe this is their first shot on target. Split our defense, the first time effort, not much we could do to defend that. Adrian was beaten and um, Wanderson gets the goal here. West Ham stunned right on half time and I'll prove to you guys with the half time stats showing up now. Six shots for us, had a bit more possession. They've had the one shot, they've made their chances count here. West Ham, it's an uphill battle for them in this game, it really is. As we look to bring on Sofane Faguli and Fosu Mensa makes his debut for the club in centre defensive midfield for Mark Noble. See how him and Kiate do. Two very similar players after being big and bulky, but. Wanderson gets onto the ball here as they look to make us pay here. Still, Wanderson crosses it in. Cleared away by Adrian. Good save from him there. It falls to Kabore. Into Petrov. Petrov lays the ball now. Square in to Laborde. Laborde gets away from his man here. Still, Laborde uh, finds his man in the middle. Uh, eventually, in Jauzinho. The Brazilian winger gets the shot away into the back of the net. The second shot of the game would make it 2 0. And the defensive cracks are showing, guys. It's no. It's no, um, obviously, secret that West Ham are terrible at the back. It has um, been said recently. And, you know, last season, uh, they was the eighth club that conceded the most goals. Three of them clubs were relegated last year. Says a lot for West Ham. So they're trying to get back into the game with Pai. Ball from Fosu Mensa. It is blocked. Very frustrating times for West Ham. And for me on the touchline, I'm watching this game and I'm getting incredibly frustrated. It's Ogbonna comes close for Gooley with the follow-up. Couldn't find the back of the net on that occasion, though. Game still at 2-0. As Adrian, he's got a death wish here. Comes out. Laborde catches him here. Reed doesn't close him down. He goes for the chip in the end, but Adrian holds on. Uh, very frustrating. It's Dimitri Pae lies on a free kick. Now, this is his territory. And uh, that just sums up West Ham's performance so far here. Dimitri Pae incredibly, incredibly annoyed there. As, um, again, a tame challenge falls into the path of Jalzinho. Always got a goal to his name here. The Brazilian plays a cross goal. Great save from Adrian there. He falls back to Laborde. And again, Adrian comes up with the goods. West Ham, again, they go through on goal. Ten minutes left to go here. Sam Byron has to put in the challenge. The player goes down in the box. It's not a red card, but it is a penalty. It is a yellow card for Sam Byron. 
and their player's going to step up here. I believe it is Jao Zinho, who's obviously got a goal to his uh, name here. Takes the penalty, saved by Adrian very well here, and he gets to the follow-up. Great to see, and that's going to be a confidence booster for me in Adrian here. As we play the ball forward now into Antonio from Andy Carroll. He's got the pace to hurt him. It's Antonio. It's stopped by Naldo. I'm not sure if that is Di Naldo um, from Wolfsburg here, but again... Um, they get onto the ball here. They're looking to put pressure on us. Jose, I'm looking for a second. Adrian saves again, cleared by Byram. And um, it brings to end a very frustrating day at the office for West Ham. A 2 0 defeat to Kranzendar. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I'm, I'm absolutely I'm frustrated. I really am. But we do go through into the next round, so we do have a chance for redemption by winning the knockout stage against FC Cologne, who are unbeaten in this tournament. But again, a frustrating day at the office for us. We just couldn't make our chances count. And. We got punished in the end. But guys, just a friend of mine, if you are enjoying today's video, as always, smash that like button and subscribe if you are new around here. It's Mikel Antonio. Um, obviously happy for getting some more game time here. Oxford, Masaku, Byron, all the usual suspects get some training done here as we look to complete some new deals uh, going forward. We do not get back, get knocked back, sorry, on Mitchell Visa here. So we do offer him a 30 grand per week contract, a five-year deal, an important first team player to see the German join the club from Hertha Berlin. And we do get a win against Cologne in the semi-finals of European International Cup. Faguli and Andy Carroll amongst the goal scorers that saw us turn around a 1-0 deficit to a 2-1 victory. Great stuff there. And we get more great news. Matteo Kovacic, we're going to go into contract negotiation with the Croatian here. 120 grand per week, a five-year deal. Important first-team player that should, should see him get over the line and join the club. Brilliant news though, English superstar Marcus Rashford has joined the club. Um, put in the comment section down below, hashtag welcome Rashford. I'll definitely be interested in seeing what you guys think of that signing. I think it's an awesome signing and we'll be seeing these players in action. Uh, Fosu Mensel, Rashford hopefully in action in the final of the International European Cup. Um, they don't want Randolph um, AC Milan so we do offer 6 million for Donnarumma. Hopefully that will see him join the club, his value there. Uh, Mitchell Visa joins the club, another player joins, another player that we hopefully will see in the next episode against um, Kransador, I do believe, the team we lost just now to 2-0 in the final. Hopefully we can get a good um, result against them. Uh, Nufil goes out on loan, and uh, Matteo Kovacic also joins, so hopefully we'll see the creation in action for us in the next episode. But guys, that is bringing end to today's video. We get our marquee signing in along with Marcus Rashford, Fosu Mensa. It really has been a great episode. Mitchell Visa joins too. Thank you for joining me as always. Look at our transfer business we've done today. It's been absolutely incredible. Like this video for more. Subscribe to never miss a video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.